നമസ്കാരം പ്രിയ സുഹൃത്തുക്കളെ തുല്യനീതി എന്ന പരിപാടിയിലേക്ക് എല്ലാ പ്രേക്ഷകർക്കും സ്വാഗതം തുല്യനീതി ഈക്വൽ ജസ്റ്റിസ് എന്നതുകൊണ്ട് അർത്ഥമാക്കുന്നത് സാധാരണക്കാരെ പോലെ തന്നെ തുല്യനീതിയും തുല്യ പരിഗണനയും ലഭിക്കേണ്ടവർ തന്നെയാണ് ഭിന്നശേഷിക്കാരും ഞങ്ങളാരും സാധാരണക്കാരിൽ നിന്ന് വിഭിന്നരല്ല ആർ പി ഡബ്ല്യു ഡി ആക്ട് ഭിന്നശേഷിക്കാർക്ക് വേണ്ടിയുള്ള അവരുടെ അവകാശങ്ങളെക്കുറിച്ചും ആനുകൂല്യങ്ങളെക്കുറിച്ചുമുള്ള ഒരു നിയമമാണ് ആർ പി ഡബ്ല്യു ഡി ആക്ട് ഇതിനെക്കുറിച്ച് വിശദമാക്കുന്ന ഒരു പരിപാടിയാണ് തുല്യനീതി നമ്മൾക്ക് ലഭിക്കേണ്ട അവകാശങ്ങൾ നമ്മൾ പോരാടിക്കൊണ്ട് തന്നെ നേടിയെടുക്കണം അതെ നമുക്കെല്ലാവർക്കും നമ്മുടെ അവകാശങ്ങളെക്കുറിച്ചും ആനുകൂല്യങ്ങളെക്കുറിച്ചും ബോധവാന്മാരായി നേടിയെടുക്കേണ്ട അവകാശങ്ങൾ ഒന്നിച്ച് പോരാടിക്കൊണ്ട് തന്നെ നമുക്ക് നേടിയെടുക്കാം ഈ നിയമത്തിൻ്റെ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് പതിപ്പ് ഇന്ന് നമ്മൾക്കായി വായിച്ചു തരുന്നത് ജിനു എന്ന വ്യക്തിയാണ് എല്ലാവർക്കും ശ്രദ്ധയോടുകൂടി ഇത് കേൾക്കാം Rights of Persons with Disabilities Act 2016, Chapter 8 Duties and Responsibilities of Appropriate Governments Section 39, Subsection 1 The Appropriate Government in Consultation with the Chief Commissioner or the State Commissioner, as the case may be, shall conduct, encourage, support or promote awareness campaigns and sensitization programs to ensure that the rights of the persons with disabilities provided under this act are protected subsection 2 the programs and campaigns specified under subsection 1 shall also close a promote values of inclusion tolerance empathy and respect for diversity close b advance recognition of the skills merits and abilities of persons with disabilities and of their contributions to the workforce labor market and professional field close c foster respect for the decisions made by persons with disabilities on all matters related to family life relationships bearing and raising children close d provide orientation and sensitization at its school college university and professional training level on the human condition of disability and the rights of persons with disabilities close e provide orientation and sensitization on disabling conditions and rights of persons with disabilities on employees administrators and coworkers close f ensure that the rights of persons with disabilities are included in the curriculum in universities colleges and schools section 40 the central government shall in consultation with the chief commissioner formulate rules for persons with disabilities laying down the standards of accessibility for the physical environment transportation information and communication including appropriate technologies and systems and other facilities and services provided to the public in urban and rural areas section 41 subsection 1 the appropriate government shall take suitable measures to provide close a facilities for persons with disabilities at bus stops railway stations and airports conforming to the accessibility standards relating to parking spaces toilets ticketing counters and ticketing machines close b access to all modes of transport that conform the design standards including retrofit fitting all modes of transport wherever technically feasible and safe for persons with disabilities economically viable and without entailing major structural changes in design close see accessible roads to address mobility necessary for the persons with disabilities subsection 2 the appropriate government shall develop schemes programs to promote the personal mobility of persons with disabilities at affordable cost to provide for 
close a incentives and concessions close b retrofitting and close c personal mobility assistance section 42 the appropriate government shall take measures to ensure that all contents available in audio print and electronic media are in accessible format persons with disabilities have access to electronic media by providing audio description sign language interpretation and closed captioning electronic goods and equipment which are meant for everyday use are available in universal design section 43 The appropriate government shall take measures to promote development, production and distribution of universally designed consumer products and accessories for general use for persons with disabilities. Section 44 Subsection 1 No establishment shall be granted permission to build any structure if the building plan does not adhere to the rules formulated by the central government under section 40. Subsection 2 No establishment shall be issued a certificate of completion or allowed to take occupation of a building unless it has adhered to the rules formulated by the central government. Section 45, subsection 1. All existing public buildings shall be made accessible in accordance with the rules formulated by the central government within a period not exceeding 5 years from the date of notification of such rules. provided that the central government may grant extension of time to the states on a case to case basis for adherence to this provision depending on their state of preparedness and other related parameters subsection 2 the appropriate government and the local authorities shall formulate and publish an action plan based on prioritization for providing accessibility in all their buildings and spaces providing essential services such as all primary health centers civil hospitals schools railway stations and bus stops section 46 the service providers whether government or private shall provide services in accordance with the rules on accessibility formulated by the central government under section 40 within a period of 2 years from the date of notification of such rules provided that the central government in consultation with the chief commissioner may grant extension of time for providing certain category of services in accordance with the said rules Section forty seven, subsection one, without prejudice to any function and power of India constituted under the Rehabilitation Council of India Act, nineteen ninety two, the appropriate government shall endeavour to develop human resources for the purposes of this Act, and to that end shall close a mandate training on disability rights in all courses for the training of panchayati raj members legislators administrators police officials judges and lawyers close b induct disability as a component for all education courses for schools colleges and university teachers doctors nurses paramedical personnel social welfare officers rural development officers asha workers anganwadi workers engineers architects other professionals and community workers close c initiate capacity building programs including training in independent living and community relationships for families members of community and other stakeholders and care providers on care giving and support close d ensure independence training for persons with disabilities to build community relationships on mutual contribution and respect close e conduct training programs for sports teachers with focus on sports games adventure activities close f any other capacity development measures as may be required subsection 2 all universities shall promote teaching and research in disability studies including establishment of study centers for such studies subsection 3 in order to fulfill the obligation stated in subsection 1 the appropriate government shall in every 5 years undertake a need based analysis and formulate plans for the recruitment induction sensitization orientation and training for suitable persons 
to undertake the various responsibilities under this act section 48 the appropriate government shall undertake social audit of all general schemes and programs in involving the persons with disabilities to ensure that the scheme and programs do not have an adverse impact upon the persons with disabilities and meet the requirements and concerns of persons with disabilities തുടരും ഈ പരിപാടിയുടെ വരുന്ന എപ്പിസോഡുകൾക്കായി കാത്തിരിക്കുക നമ്മളുടെ അവകാശങ്ങളെയും ആനുകൂല്യങ്ങളെയും കുറിച്ചറിയുന്ന ഈ പരിപാടി മറ്റുള്ളവർക്ക് പങ്കുവയ്ക്കുക ഭിന്നശേഷിക്കാരായവരുടെ അവകാശങ്ങളും അനുകൂല്യങ്ങളും അറിയാത്ത ഒട്ടനവധി സഹോദരി സഹോദരന്മാർ നമ്മൾക്കിടയിലുണ്ട് എല്ലാവരെയും ബോധവാന്മാരാക്കുക